Welcome back. Your time now just about 929. A Bear County Jail inmate apparently unhappy with how his case was proceeding in court took his frustration out on a trio of bailiffs. That led to a violent confrontation in a holdover cell and some serious charges against the inmate David Murphy. Paul Venema there for the beginning of Murphy's trial. Here's a clip from Paul's story. He manages to put his hand on uh, Huffmeyer's gun. Deputy Pettis said that what happened next was frightening. He starts pulling on his gun like he has his hands on it, like if you're holding something. And he's yanking, yanking, yanking Huffmeyer up and down. Well, Paul Venema joins us now for a debrief. First of all, thanks for being with us, as it's always. Morning, Paul. First time this year. How common are attacks like this? Uh, surprisingly, pretty common. Not, not quite this violent. Really? But, but the, the, these people these bailiffs deal with, they're not, not happy people. They're not, right. not glad to be there. So they often present a few issues for the bailiffs. So, yeah, this, this happens from time to time. They're ready to go. Any idea what triggered this particular attack, Paul? Yeah, he was. He was. He had been in, in court before the judge and uh, had uh, some disturbing things for him involving his case. His case was was delayed, and he wanted to get it over. He was facing, believe it or not, assault charges. That's what he was there for in the oh, first wow. place. Uh, uh, but anyway, he didn't like the way that went, and so he was unhappy about that as they escorted him back into his his uh, his holdover cell, and that uh, discussion led to fistfight. Well, you mentioned he was there for an assault charge. What does his criminal background yeah, look like? Well, that, that's, and, and that's, that's uh, probably going to play big into his punishment should he be convicted. But uh, he was facing assault and choking his, his girlfriend, as I understand, his acquaintance, female acquaintance. So he was facing charges there. And, and, but beyond that, he had some things outside this county, some, again, assault chase, cases. So he obviously has, has some uh, uh, anger issues. Yes, it appears that <laughs> yeah. way, huh? And I, I'm, I'm looking at some of the pictures here as we're, as we're chatting, Paul, and I see, you know, the injuries to some of these uh, deputies, and there, it looks like there's quite a bit of blood out there as the scene as well when it happened. What kind of punishment if he, is he facing if he is found guilty? Well, it, there are three indictments. They're being all tried at the same time. There are three bailiffs, so three, three separate charges of assault of a public servant. However, uh, and that run, the punishment range on that is 2 to 20, so it would be 2 to 20 in each. However, he is a habitual. I mentioned earlier he had some charges from another county. Sure. So he's considered what, uh, a repeat offender, a habitual. So that kicks it up the punishment range. Now he's looking at 5 to 99 to life on each of oh, those wow. indictments, which I don't think they would be stacked. But should they want to stack them, they certainly have, the judge has an option. Who is going to decide the punishment if he is convicted? Up to the jury. jury. Up oh, to the jury. jury. And at this point, the jury, because those other... Uh, uh, cases do not come in during this phase of the trial, during the guilt innocence phase. They're only brought up during the punishment phase. So the jury doesn't know right now, but the jury will know once they get, should he be convicted, once they get into the punishment phase, they should know what his background is, and that most likely will have some impact on their, their punishment decision. I have a question for you, Paul, and I'm asking because I, I simply don't know the answer to it. Does every court have its own holdover cell for, for, for people that are, are, are going to be you yeah, know, in yeah. court for proceedings? They, they do. And uh, it's a really complex uh, setup there at the Justice Center. Every court has a holdover cell. And, and all these prisoners come from what's called the 1.5, which is a, a big holding cell, in, which is a, essentially a jail within the courthouse. Okay. So they're taken up by elevator into the uh, respective uh, holding cells for hmm. each of the courts. Had no idea. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. All right, Paul, thanks you so much. Right. We appreciate you being in tech.